Now we're going to talk about what does the rugged DSP do for you. What DSP is digital speech processing. What it does is it samples the noise and then it cancels out the frequencies that we want to cancel out. So your background noise, your wind noise, your sheet metal noise, the rattling in the car, a lot of that, this little DSP chip is going to cancel out that noise so you're not even going to hear it. For the first time when you hear it, when you're testing in a very quiet environment, you might hear a little echo factor. Sometimes what will happen is you'll hear a little echo of the DSP. Well that's the processor trying to sample noise. If the only noise that you're testing with is your voice, you're going to have some echo. Once you get into a loud environment and sensing the loud noise, the frequencies that we want to cancel out, then that echo factor goes away. Also that little bit of echo factor that you're going to hear is also called side tone. Side tone is the what your voice that you hear in your headset because what you're going to notice is this, the person that you're talking to won't hear that DSP echo at all. Okay, It's just like their microphone will come through to you crystal clear. So when you're testing the DSP and you're first dialing the system in, what you're going to notice is, hey, you might hear a little echo while you're testing in the garage. Well, there's no noise for the DSP to sample. So simply when you get out to the dunes, the engine's loud, you've got a lot of wind noise, that's when the DSP is going to take over and cancel out that background noise. We're going to show you how to install the rugged DSP into your RRP 660 or 600 intercom. What we've got is we've got to complete the new RRP 660 intercom here. We're going to show you how easy it is to put this thing in. All you need is a simple Phillips screwdriver and that's all it takes to put this thing in. So let's start by you have to remove, remove the knobs. So you're simply going to pull the knobs off the face of the intercom. You're going to remove the four screws on the front. You're also going to remove the four screws right on the back of the intercom. So real simple, I've already got an intercom here that we've already taken apart. So I'm going to slide this over. Once you take and remove those four screws out of the intercom, you're going to take your faceplate that you've already removed the knobs on. You're going to tuck it like this inside the board. You're going to slide the whole board out the back of the intercom. Just real easy. It's going to slide out. Just make sure you push the thing out and it's going to come apart just like this. Now the intercom is open. It's a real easy install. Now you're going to take your rugged DSP chip. What we're going to do is this. The DSP chip goes in line with the volume control on the intercom. So first you're going to unplug the volume side of the intercom. So you're going to very easily just pull and disconnect the volume section of the intercom right off the board. This is just this N5 pin connector. Next what you're going to do is you're going to disconnect the power. This black and red wire that comes in, that's the power to the intercom. So real simply grab the two. If you need to you can wiggle it just back and forth a little bit and it comes right off. Now the rugged DSP chip simply goes in line with these two connections. So you take your rugged DSP chip. You take the power lead. All you're going to do is simply just plug it directly into the DSP chip. Plug that thing in. Now what you're going to do is just take the volume control. You're going to take and do the same thing. You're going to take the volume control, plug it directly into the DSP chip. So once you get those two in and they're nice and secure, now you're going to take the leads that come off the DSP chip and plug them onto the rugged board. So we're going to take the volume control, we're going to plug that in and don't forget to hook up your power. Your power is real important or else the thing's not going to turn on. So we put your power. So we've hooked up the the five pin connector to the volume control. We've also hooked it up to the power. Now this board simply lays right here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your your face plate, turn it sideways, feed it in through. Now what you're going to do is take this whole board. Now you're going to slightly just push it through. Make sure your volume control doesn't stick. Now what you're also going to see is the board is going to line up on two little runners inside the box. So make sure that you get the runner in. So you put one side in, get the other side in. Make sure it goes on the runners. You're going to simply push the board back into place. See how it fits on the back now? Now, take your face plate, it's going to come right back through. You put the thing on here, you line the thing back up, you're going to make sure that your wires are nice and tucked in. So start with the back, 
You're going to take and install your four screws back on the back. Then you're going to go around to the front, line up. Just make sure that, you're, that you have no wire sticking out the seam. You're going to take and install your four screws, put your knobs back on, and once again, you're going to have a completed intercom system. Real simple, real easy way. These are just a direct plug-in application. Like I say, all you're going to need is a simple Phillips screwdriver. This video and all of our tech videos will be at www.ruggedradios.com. Rugged Radios, we're the authority in communications.